How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Rads, welcome to another match reaction away from home. It's not often I get to do this this season, but it's Man United away from home for Forest. It's great to have the Premier League back. It's going to be a very tough game this one for sure. Obviously we've got Chelsea after this, so we can't be too harsh if the worst comes to worst and we do lose because of the opposition we're having to play. When it comes to the lineup, I'm happy with it besides maybe Willy Bolly. I don't want to be too harsh on him because I don't think he's done all too much wrong. I just feel we could do better. I think centre-back probably is something Forrest do need to look into in January, which I will be covering throughout the window. I'll be doing regular updates throughout the whole month. So yeah, I'm not going to give a prediction. It's too difficult to do that. Um, just don't get battered. Just go out fighting, give a competitive display. That's all I want because the other two times I've done an away reaction like this this season, we've lost 6-0 and 4-0. The 4-0 in particular, actually, was particularly painful against Leicester. So, yeah, that's not a good record. So let's hope it changes today for the good. Come on, you Reds. We scored one goal away from home all season. Everton? Yeah. Is that all? Another thing that isn't going in our favour today is our away record in general is absolutely woeful. Besides Everton and Brighton, which were draws. So let's just hope it changes for the good. Well, the Brighton game, I think that was the turning point of our season. The very From second point. half onwards. Yeah, a very good point. I cannot understand why McKenna isn't starting and they've got Loddy on the pitch. Bolly. Uh, Bolly on the pitch. I don't think Bolly's bad. I just don't, I don't think he's, he's not bad. No, but the McKenna best. is our best centre half. I just don't think he. he no, he's not a long term option, is he? Because he's no. of his age. I just feel we can do better. But the uh, saving grace is he's not started Steve Cook. Again, as much as I like Steve Cook, I just don't think he should start. We already look way better than what we did against Leicester, City and Arsenal. The three times we've been battered this season. Mm. We look all at sea for minute one in those games. You go lost, yeah, any no plan. Yeah, any 4-0 result upwards is a battering. Yeah, here... We, right, corner, we don't, corner, 1-0 Forest. We don't look at all like we're fearing United. No. We look very... Uh, we, we've got a plan and we're sticking to it and we're executing it well at the moment. Ooh, oh. oh. That feels really, really hard. That was a training exercise goal. Nice and low, Rashford, 1-0 United. 20 minutes gone. That's really frustrating. It's very not even we, been we that bad We're doing pretty well there. We have, we've not been at all, like, all at sea like we have been in previous matches, it's just brutal. Right, now don't get downhearted and concede a goal in another two minutes. See, they're now on the break, who's this? Rashford. Don't concede a second, come on! Oh, for God's sake, I said don't concede a second! Dan. We've gone back to type, haven't we? Conceding. Two minutes later, like I said just a few seconds ago, don't concede a second. We've gone back to type. Let's just concede, concede a goal and concede again. And that's completely changes the, the dynamic of the entire game. Yet again. Yes, okay, it's Man United. But still, we've, we've been here before. We and we still off, haven't learned We started it. off well. We still haven't learned from it. McKenna should be starting. Incredibly and that cool. was from their own half. From... That is way too easy. Oh, that went under under the goalie, didn't it? I just don't. I don't have any faith in Bolly. He was partly at fault there. That was he was partly. At he was fault. nutmeg. Oh, through his legs. McKenna should have started. Not that McKenna would have been unbelievable, but he he would have been better. And this is emphasising again why we do need to sign a centre back. Because we can't all put all hope on Neil Carter. Next eh? month, next week, centre back, centre forward. We, we can't put all hope on Neil Carter. We've only seen him twice, not even for two full games. You can give a plenty of faults number nine when we have a striker on the pitch. Why is Awani playing out wide? Well, you've got. Why is Lingard playing down the middle? That's the fourth time this season we've let in two goals in the space of three minutes. Good one, good one, good one. Yes! Yes, come cool. well, on! I didn't expect that! 
when Yeezy scores, it's in yeah, the... What's the way in Manchester? Is there anyone in Manchester? Yeah, there is, of course. I think we're here. The Man we're we're gonna Manchester. We're going to Manchester. Yeah, that was well executed. We planned that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. When Yeezy scores, it's in the river out in Manchester. Guys, okay, that is the last thing I expected to happen. Well, is it the Mersey? Find out. It's Liverpool, isn't it? Yeah, but it, it starts Liverpool, it makes its way. Point is that I did not see that coming at all in the slide. Yes, Paul Wombat, come on, 2-2! Two, two. We saw all the more reason why... Oh, they're checking it, of course they are. All the more reason why they shouldn't have given away gonna, that. This is going to be this allowed, can't it? They're Possible handball, where? Who by? Maybe in the offside position. Oh, yeah, he's in the offside. Does Boy. Head onto arm? This is going to be offside, it's can it. The decision is offside. So no goal. Of course. Obviously. Well, that was good work last. Alexa, repeat. Is that it? The end of the. The capital of Botswana is Gaborone. Normal service resumed. Actually, it, it was on the DE. Come on. No, no, because you well, you pressed me. No, no, I turned it off. Turn it away. Good start. Did our normal thing when we considered loading one go. Kind of got back into it at the end and then VAR thought <laughs> nothing in five, but you dare score a goal at Old Trafford. It has to be the big it's teams. not happening. No, it has to favour the big teams as always. Here's the goals we considered were really poor. They were very poor, especially the corner. corner we have still been more competent and dangerous than what we were against Arsenal City and Leicester. I mean, it's fine margins, but still, it's, it, it, we have not been as bad as those three games. No. So we're really going to get, we've got Lingard and Gibbs White out now. Yeah, it looks unlikely he's going to be featured against Chelsea, doesn't it? It's certainly, it's a good time now to sign Scalper, it turns out. Yeah. It's like every time Rashford gets the ball, something's going to happen. Two, three. Oh, good stop from Hennessy. Well Very good stop. Again, Hennessy saved us. Go! Oh, oh go on. Oh, I was on target as well from Sam. I was on target. That was pretty encouraging then from us. Oh, good save again by Hennessy. Well done. We've changed both fullbacks. And yet we've kept Bolly on. Why was Bolly even playing? But all United do is they, they just hit us on the counter attack constantly. Yeah. That's all they keep doing. The amount of times they've surged forward. And then we've just saved it right at the very end. Just up here. Do we go 3-0? I saw that coming a while yeah. ago. As soon as that attack started, I just, it was obvious. This is, this is this is what happens in the Premier League. You're just gonna have to accept. You're gonna get battered every so often. We've had it three times, four to four times this season. You know, we've been hammered. All besides Leicester, the top six clubs. You're gonna get it. But it is also the style in which you lose. Arsenal totally outclassed, but we didn't help ourselves. City, a city, and we were still a bunch of strangers. And here, we've not been quite as horrific, but ultimately we've, no, still, but we've still lost 3-0. We've still lost 3-0, but it's proven that we do need a decent centre-half and a, a centre-forward striker. That's it, yeah. 3-0, OK. It could have been a lot, lot worse. So 3 another defeat in the end for Forest. Um, not too much of a shock. I think a lot of people would have probably put money on it being quite a convincing win for United. Um, I think the game started fairly well for Forest, as we were saying. I, I think we were actually doing some pretty good stuff with the ball. We were kind of creating some good chances, but the same old, same old thing happened. Yet again, we conceded a goal with some pretty horrific defending. No one picking up Marcus Rashford. It's a goal, and then... The biggest thing that was the issue with the defending today is, yet again, we concede and then obviously we go and concede again. And that completely kills everything that was going right beforehand and it counts for nothing. Obviously we ended the second half kind of on a high because we, we did get that chance from Yatesy. Probably was um, 
Mardley offside. I don't think it was a handball. Was it? It wasn't a handball. But um, yeah, ultimately didn't count, and that was demoralising to get that uh, ruled out. Second half, Lingard of course going off. Um, had some interesting players coming on. I, I don't know why Bolly stayed on. I don't think he's good enough at all. Um, playing a one out wide is, is incredibly strange. Don't understand that at all. We desperately need to sign a striker, and we desperately need to sign a centre back. I like Wall, I like McKenna. I don't know why McKenna wasn't involved today. Cook and Bolly for me are liabilities. Um, and obviously we will eventually have Nia Carter back, but we can't all put all that pressure on Nia Carter when he's only played a few games. It's strength and depth that needs to improve at centre back, but that's a shadow of a doubt. That's the problem for me today. Um, is, is We do have injuries. We do have injuries, which isn't helping, but ultimately... The way, the way in which we went out today was better than against Arsenal and City and, and Leicester, for example, but it was still ultimately a 300 feet. And Chelsea next at home is incredibly tough, of course. They played well today against Bournemouth, but I do think that uh, we do have a better chance because obviously we're playing against um, Chelsea at home. We've always got a better chance when we play at home. So yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this away reaction. Of course, they're rare this season. I can't do them quite as much as I did last year. I did them every week last year, which was great. But unfortunately this year, it's difficult with uh, how the games are shown. So if I can't watch it away from home, it will, of course, be a review, which I think are good. People seem to enjoy them as well, but it's just not quite the same. But um, anything's better than nothing. Hopefully you enjoy, no matter how I do it. I will be at the Chelsea game, of course. I won't be able to do anything for the Southampton or Blackpool games in terms of watching it live, but I will do reviews and of course I'll be out the walls and the Leicester matches and for the rest of the season I'll be covering Forest in some form. So hopefully you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching, hit the like button, subscribe to Reds if you're new and I'll see you very soon everyone. Up the Reds.